Now for our team coverage of the launch. News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us live from Kennedy Space Center. Eric. So Lisa, Matt, right now there's a post-launch press conference happening here at the Kennedy Space Center with NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, of course, and the man himself, Elon Musk. It seems everybody's almost pinching themselves trying to believe that this actually happened as perfectly as it did because it was spot on even the rocket landed itself after all of this take a look from our view so we were standing right here at the edge of the lagoon and it was flawless the weather cleared just in time that had been a problem for much of the afternoon bob and doug soaring to space safely for the first time ever on a commercial crew capsule. It took about 12 minutes. They got into orbit. That's when we saw their little dinosaur. It looked like a furry dinosaur. And they said that, that they brought it up there because their kids love dinosaurs. That was the first indication that they were safely in orbit. We just heard from the two astronauts, but we also heard from Elon Musk. Let's start with him. Um, yeah, I'm really quite overcome uh, with emotion on uh, this day. It's, it's kind of hard to talk, frankly. Um, it's been 18 years working towards this goal, so it's, it's hard to believe that it's happened. Now back to the astronauts. So they did, did kind of a press conference in space a few minutes ago, I guess you could say. They had been talking for weeks about what they named the Dragon capsule. They finally revealed that. They said the name is endeavor, not just for this endeavor that America has just undertook, but also for the first space shuttle that they both flew on. Both Bob and Doug flew on space shuttle endeavor. So now they've turned the cameras off in the capsule. They're heading to sleep and they wake up tomorrow for docking at 1030 at the International Space Station. The next big history making moment. We're now live at the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Von Eyck and getting results. News 6. I bet they would sleep pretty peacefully in there, Eric. <laughs> Hope so anyway. Thank you.